video is about harnesses. Let's get right into it. Let me demonstrate. Um, so you put it on, you have to clip, and then you put it around the, the, the nose. But look, look at the eyes. The eyes are the first problem with this um, harness. It goes under the eyes and it, and it can make problem with the eyes. It can make them sore. And the next problem is the muzzle. Because you have to put it on so tight, it squishes the muzzle. So I recommend you not to use this color, even if you have a long nosed dog. It can also squish the muscles to make the muscles very tight. So it will make their sore, their um, throat sore. My opinion is this is not the best head color to use. Uh, that was um, Freya, my old, my old um, dog. This is Leon. Um, he's a German Shepherd. That's a boxer. Now, they have, they don't have the eye problem, but they have the muzzle problem. Um, and um, also, when they fight back, it actually, it actually tightens the um, uh, the um, thing. So when you hold on to this, it tightens, it tightens it. And then they'll just start pouring at it. So I recommend you never use this harness. So this is um faster, and um this color is a stepping harness. Um, so um they literally just step in it like that now the first problem is the so the shoulders it's um so it's crossing on the so the shoulders so when so they can't really move their arm that much they're just bending their arm and doing this and on um, the second problem problem is the leash. It's back here. Let's just say um that when your dog sees the other dog, um it it goes like this, but when you're pulling back, it's putting pressure on the chest and he he and thou thou actually put more pressure on the shoulders and a lot of pressure on the withers which is um i'll show you on um leon right here it's right here that's a dog's withers and then that can cause um problems with um the with moving the head around so I recommend you not using this and um, we'll do the next one. This is a figure eight head collar and um, I'm going to put it on and show you. So um, the thing about this is that this is supposed to go on the back of the neck, this circle. So, um, this one has the same problems with this one. Um, 
the muzzle and the um neck. Um, so you know those um collars that um have the um thing at the back, the um hook for the um lead. Well, this one has that, but when I pull too tight, what? The muzzle and the neck contract in, so that could choke the dog, or or the other, the um the other word, suffocation. And I just recommend you not using um any of these um collars. I'm sorry. Um, we're doing Elka again. Elky. Um, we are doing Elka again, but this is a different color. It has one bad thing, which isn't really that bad if you have a um is isn't really that bad if you have a dog that like doesn't really mind things going over their head. But if you have like a dog that hates things going over their head, you don't want to use this. So let's put it on again. There's not, um, her shoulders are fine, um, her, her, um, everything's fine. Some dogs don't just, don't like things going over their head. And, um, this is her backup. This is her main harness. Um, this is her, um, main collar harness. Um, Elka. And um, I'm going to put it on her. These two are supposed to be at the back. This goes like that. And then it comes like this. And then you click both of these on. And um, the good thing about this is there's is there's nothing absolute, absolutely nothing, not even one single tiny bad thing about this collar. It gives her a lot of comfortable space. Um, it's it's um it has a lot of room. Um. It has a um, it has hooks at the back. It, it has two hooks at the back and one at the front, so you can put it at the back or the front, whichever side. Oh, okay, okay, huh? Sit. And um, let's um do these other two. This is um toothless um. This is his um, harness, his backup harness, toothless, toothless. His um, mum's making a lot of noise in there. So, I'll just tell you, it's like Elkis, but it goes over his head. That's the, that's the one only tiny problem. And also the um, loose um, chest bit. Toothless um, is, is, in, is, is really bad right now, but when he um, grows to an adult, um, it, won't be, it won't be really bad. It won't move around, it'll just stay in place. movement this has.
has a smaller neck because, and that's good because um, because um, it doesn't move that much. I hope you learn something good, and just like I said, hit that like button and subscribe. Hit that bell for notifications and stay tuned for more videos.